I'm here this morning with Lisa Enden, Vice President of Power Travel. Lisa is my family's travel agent and has planned many wonderful trips for us, and she's here to talk to us today about travel for empty questers. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Donna. Thanks <laughs> for coming in. So the world is wide open now for empty questers. What are some of the most exciting destinations uh, for people to travel to? Africa, it's always on the top of everybody's bucket list. It's exciting, it's adventurous, uh, it's relaxing, it can be romantic. Um, another um, another destination might be Iceland, something fun, something adventurous, something out of the ordinary, challenging themselves, something that maybe they were afraid the kids might have been able to you know, not handle. Now they can go for that glacier hike or they can go inside a lava cave. They can really challenge themselves. And that's fun for us to do as, as we get older. Mm -hmm. How about romance? You know, empty nesters are finally together as a couple. Are, uh, are empty nesters asking you for special romantic vacations? Maybe the first time they took their family and did the basic cities, now they'll go back and explore the Amalfi Coast, Tuscany for wine tastings, or maybe they will go someplace exotic like Tahiti or Fiji or really take, you know, take a nice vacation and, and have those sunset sails, even Greece, places that they can just really stare at the sunset, you know, you know do beautiful, beautiful things without the children. <laughs> Are there special considerations that you keep in mind uh, when planning travel for this life stage? Yes, most definitely. Insurance. Insurance is always something that I recommend, even with a family. But as we get older and our parents get older, that's something that's very important. Um, if you have insurance when you're traveling and you get a call back that your parent is ill or you can't leave for the trip because your parent is ill, the insurance will cover your trip. So definitely something to take into consideration. Nowadays, everybody has points and programs and credit cards that send you everywhere. Um, why is it important to use a travel agent? It's very important. First of all, your time is valuable. Why take my job when you could be do some, doing something else that's much more valuable to you? We have all the connections to the top hotels, cruise lines, tour operators. It goes beyond that. It goes to the human touch. When you book a trip with me, I'm on the phone with the general manager or the sales manager calling up and saying, um, how does an upgrade look for the Corrin family? What can you do for them that you're not doing for the next person that's walking in? And I make it a point to know all the right people in the right places. I'm very well traveled and it's my business to know what's right out there for who and, and where and when. So there's nothing wrong with calling us. You don't pay anything more than you would to do the work yourself. And I'm the expert, so why not? What does it mean to you to be an empty quester? Uh, it is very much a fun stage of life. I love that we can be spontaneous, that we can just book a trip a week in advance and say, let's just go and sit on a beautiful beach. I get that a lot from couples. They don't have commitments and schedules at home. Or we can plan a great trip together and really spend time planning it and deciding where we want to go, someplace that we haven't gone before. Let's get off the map and get off the grid and just explore. Uh, really some cool destinations. Lisa Enden, Vice President of Power Travel, here with us today. She's planned some fantastic trips for my family. I have no doubt she's going to be planning some wonderful trips for my husband and I. Reach out to me and I'll give you her contact information and you can be planning many exciting trips for yourselves.